We're going to try to do as many of the main attractions and things to see that we can do here in Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Chenegan to answer the question, is it worth visiting Bali's baby brother islands? This is why we came to Nusa Lembongan. So before we can start our adventure, we've got to get to the Nusa Islands off Bali's east coast. Yeah, Lewis. <laughs> we got picked up from our villa by minivan to get to the De Camel main office. Yeah, that's right. Not enough space in the minivan for us. Might be going in the tuk-tuk. Then on to Sanor Beach to catch our boat. Super Thank you. Shoes in the box, please, yeah? Yeah. Yes, welcome to my paradise island. Thanks. You have to wade into the water to get to the boat, which was a bit sketchy. The fast boat ride is about 30 minutes and was pretty smooth. We paid 300k per person, including all transport on both islands. Slowly. How was the journey? Wouldn't know. So pretty. But for our Lembongan transfer. So it's Lembongan transport then. Promise the car, I got a tuk tuk. So we were a little bit early for check in for our hotel. So watch your head. So we just dropped our bags and we're just heading off to the beach. But it is raining. Oh dear. <laughs> Not beach weather. Some hot coffee to warm up. A bit scary. This is why we came to Nusa Lembongan. This is Dream Beach and it quite lives up to its name. It's beautiful, really soft sand, perfect blue water too. There's not that many like cafes or anything around here. There's just that restaurant where we had lunch earlier and then like a hotel. So yeah, we recommend bringing snacks and drinks if you do come here. The waves are massive though, and we've seen a few people get knocked over. It's only funny when it's not you. So we're a bit <laughs> cautious about going for a swim but it's so beautiful here for sure got some seriously dark clouds coming in over there we'll make the most of the water while it's still going to be warm come on emma's too scared to come in the waves are pretty big here though so this beach is really nice but just like its namesake dreamland beach in uluwatu the waves are really crazy we saw all those people get knocked down and we thought oh that's not going to happen to us but get into the water and the waves even though i was only knee deep in the water the waves were up to my shoulders so not the most chill not the most relaxed water but definitely a beautiful beach get emma <laughs> so as beautiful as dream beach was we're gonna try and check out some other viewpoints while we still have light because we're only staying till tomorrow evening supposedly called devil's tear maybe devil's tear we're not sure so this is devil's tear quite a cool viewpoint where there's a rock face and the waves come straight in. So you get really big waves, whip up all the sea water in your face, but pretty cool still. Quite refreshing after the hot beach. Well, this devil's tear. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> yeah. We look like it after all that splash of water on our face. This devil's tear is actually a really nice walk. It'll walk you between Dream Beach and another one over here might be Sandy Bay Beach, but it's nice and paved, really easy to walk, beautiful views and only takes like 10 minutes with a few stops to go around. So I recommend this one. It's a nice thing to do. So we just came back to the hotel to rent a motorbike. This NMAX next to me is only going to cost 100k for 24 hours. We're going to have it until we leave tomorrow. He only said to me, you good drive? I said, yes. And he said, there's a bike. <laughs> so I think we're going to head to uh, Nusa Senegal. Mm -hmm. Go across famous Yellow Bridge. Yeah, it's only nine minutes away, so it's going to be a quick drive. Wow, it's so pretty. Hold on. Yeah. A bit rickety. Is it cute? Down the door. Oh, I look like I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Point Beach. <laughs> So it's pretty nice that we got to visit another island on our island trip. This is Secret Point Beach in Nusa Senegal. What do you think of this beach? 
Yeah, it's nice. The waves are definitely more tame towards the shore, so you could like have a dip if you want to. I think we're probably not going to swim because uh, we swam earlier and stuff, but there are people out here surfing, which is pretty cool. What do you think about it? Yeah, it's nice. It's definitely, it's pretty quiet because it's a lot more out of the way than Dream was on Limbongan, but yeah, it's nice. I think it'll be a nice spot to stick around to watch some sunset. This part of the beach over here has a really cool, like a gate where the sun's coming through now for sunset. So we might get a few snaps over there. Looks quite nice. The surfers down there hanging out in the water to watch the sunset. Ding dong, you want your sunset? And a little pro tip, if you want to come for a beautiful sunset, you can come to this place called Mahana Point, just near to Secret Point Beach and you can sit for free just outside the restaurant on the top of the cliff, get a beautiful sunset. After a quick shower and change after our day out, we're hungry and we got a hankering for some Mexican food. Mmm, yummy. So we found a good place on the island, let's go check it out. Good morning. Breakfast time, mm -hmm. and I got mango. You got watermelon juice. Poppy panas. Panas. Poppy poppy. I got scrambled egg with some toast, tomatoes, and bread. How about you? I went for a mixed omelette, although I don't know what's mixed in it, so I'm going to eat and find out. And mum wants breakfast. Let's show you around our bungalow here at Small Heaven Bungalows. No, no. Emma's ready. This is our main nice comfy bed with a mosquito net. Lots of pillows as well. Uh huh. Did you think it was comfy last night? Um, yeah. I think the bed was definitely comfortable, um, and it was nice and cool in here because there's an AC, which is great, mm -hmm. and a mosquito net. Good. That's nice. A little shaylong type lounger. Mirror. We got mini fridge. Also kettle and hair dryer, which is good. Don't always have. And then our bathroom is one of these half opens. I actually showered in the rain this morning. And outside they've got a nice pool. We didn't actually use it, did we? So the price for this bungalow was around 27 British pounds per night, 440k IDR. Overall, this place has been nice. Time for us to check out, maybe do one or two more activities before we go. So it's almost time for us to finish our trip. We're sitting on Mushroom Beach now, which I think is a really nice beach. Not as beautiful as Dream Beach that we visited earlier, but still beautiful. The white sand is really nice, beautiful water, quite a lot of boats in the water here, but still, I would think that the beaches here are one of the main selling points. If you love beautiful Instagram type beaches, then Nusa Lembongan is a really good one to visit. Maybe some things to consider. You really need to be able to drive a bike to get around. You can get the tuk-tuks, you know, to and from the ferry ports, but being able to drive a motorbike will make your life a lot easier. I don't think there's grab. There doesn't even seem to be any taxis or like proper cars as we know it on the island. It may need just those tuk-tuks that we showed earlier. Also, maybe it would be a bit better in dry season because probably the beaches are the main things to do. Although when we're driving around, Emma, you're always saying like, oh, there's a nice cafe or a restaurant we yeah. could try if we have more time. So I think it's more developed than you expect. Definitely you won't have any problem finding nice cafes and restaurants here. Maybe yeah. not so much nightlife, but that's not really our thing anyway, so. If you want more party, probably in the Gellies would be better for you, yeah. To answer the question, is it worth it? I would say definitely yes. Maybe two or three days would do you a bit better. I don't think you'd spend a week here. Mm -hmm. If you can only choose one, Gillies, Nusa Penida, or Nusa Lembongan. That's a hard one. I think like they're all beautiful in their own way. I'd say it would be a toss up between Gillies and Panida, 100%. We went to Panida like for four days and we saw the manta rays, which were beautiful. But Gillies is also really nice. It's so chilled, it's so small. You can walk around the whole island in, I don't know, a couple of hours. What about you? I would say probably, yeah, Nusa Panida was at the top there because of all the snorkeling and adventures and beautiful viewpoints you can do in Panida, that'd be number one. But Gillies also has amazing beaches and really beautiful for sunsets yeah. and just a really nice place to relax. But I think Lembongan and Chenagun is also really nice, but probably I'd put it third on the list of Bali's islands. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Really nice though, so. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, I think we really enjoyed our time in Lembongan. Overall, everything wasn't too expensive, both like cost of living and getting to and from here. So really nice way to spend a weekend. If you've got the time, maybe not the highest on the list, but definitely still something worth doing. Yeah.
<laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content. Cool. I'll leave some more videos and a playlist on the side if you want to check out some more content from the channel. Yep. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.